A shooting at a Northside gas station over an Xbox has stirred up some conversation about gun laws. Can you legally shoot someone in order to protect your property? News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson talked with a professor at Indiana Tech, and she joins us now with the answer. Brett and Heather, the short answer is no. Deadly force should only be used when you're in fear of your own life or someone else's, not to stop someone from running off with your property. Social media has been buzzing about the city's latest shooting. Hundreds of comments on our Facebook page debating whether or not the shooter at Lass's Handy Dandy was within his right to do so. The young man was not a threat, one user says. The shooter should be arrested and charged. Another says it's called the Second Amendment. Concealed carry does wonders to stop criminals. But Director of Criminal Justice at Indiana Tech, Dominic Lombardo, says the law is very clear. That can be used as a defense primarily when you are in fear of your life or someone else's life. It cannot be used in a defense of property. Fort Wayne police say Tuesday's shooting happened when a deal to sell an Xbox went bad. Two men arranged to meet at the Lasses Handy Dandy on East DuPont Road to complete the deal. But instead of paying, a man tried to run off with it. That's when the owner shot him. To myself, the person who did the shooting could possibly be in a lot of trouble. The same holds true if someone stole from your home. You know, you come downstairs at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning because you hear a noise and a guy's going down your sidewalk with your TV and you shoot him. Again, at that point, you realize, you know, your life is no longer in danger. However, if the intruder is still on your property, Indiana Stand Your Ground Law gives homeowners the right to protect their home, even if that means using deadly force. As far as the gas station robbery, police have not said if the man trying to steal the property had a weapon. They also have not said if the shooter was licensed to carry a firearm or if he could face charges in connection with the shooting. There could be some other circumstances that we're not aware of yet. So, again, um, you know, it just all depends on, on what the, you know, the police investigation and the prosecutor decides to do. Lombardo says if there is no threat to your life, it's best to just let the thief have your property. He says the key is to be a good witness to help police track down the person and property later on. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.